good evening or good morning, depending on where you are in the world, Guardians. Assalamu alaikum. It's that Arab guy again. And a weekly update came out from Bungie uh, five hours ago. And to be honest, it's, it's pretty informative. I like it. <laughs> so you can read that on your own because that's not really why we're here. We're here for this, this beauty. This is the juiciest thing I've seen all week, to be honest. So uh, let's go from left to right. Let's start with let's start off with launch week. So on Tuesday we saw the nightfall flashpoint in the European Dead Zone. The official um, launch day was on Wednesday. Unfortunately, I had to pick mines on Thursday, so I am a bit behind. Just a bit. So week two, we can see that the nightfall is going to be the inverted spire. Uh, nightfall guided games begins, which is from what I've heard going to be targeted, well the beta is going to be targeted towards solar players who are not really in clans or anything of the sort. Flashpoint is going to be on Nessus and Wednesday the Leviathan raid launches which is going to be very interesting Interesting, given how much of how hard the lid was on this from Bungie. I mean there has been no info about it like we know nothing so it's, it'll be very interesting to see how the week progresses on, up until Wednesday. Friday, we can see that Trial of the Nine begins, and obviously it'll be a weekly thing as it was in Destiny 1. So, Friday the 15th will be Countdown on Eternity. Zer returns with a selection of exotics. Alright, week 3, we on the Tuesday the 19th, we can see that Nightfall is going to be on Exodus Crash. Flashpoint is IO, and of course, Trials comes back as with Survival on Altar of Flame. And then Zer returns with a selection of exotics. Week 4, we can see that Nightfall is going to be the Pyramidian. I really hope I said that correctly. <laughs> Flashpoint will be on Titan. And the Leviathan Raid, Guided Games Beta, begins. So two weeks post-Leviathan initial launch, we get the Guided Games for uh, for the raid. Then we have Fakshi. Fa uh, Fakshi. Wow. I need it. Just stop. I need to stop. It's 1 a.m. But Faction Rally begins. I honestly have no idea what that means, but just from what it... I mean, I guess now you can just join factions. But I really hope that depending on what faction you join, it changes the story around you. Like, depending... Like, say, for example, you choose Dead Orbit, that takes you one route, New Market takes you another, and Future takes you a third. It'll be very interesting to see how the world of uh, Destiny evolves with these factions. I mean, or it could be simply... Pick an allegiance, get gear for that allegiance, just like it was in Destiny 1. So if we go on to the 29th on the Friday of week 4, Trials of the Nine is obviously back with Survival on Emperor's Respite, and then, of course, Xur is back. Now, my only question is, or my only thought is, I feel like they're going to mix the Trials of the Nine with Xur. I'm assuming, so, since I am still early in the game, I'm assuming Strange Coins are not in it, in the uh, game, so Zer won't be taking those. Instead, he'll be taking maybe a currency from the Trials of the Nine. So I might be misinformed. Please let me know. Um, so yeah, let's get on the weekly update. I mean, that was the juiciest bit. So if we go, um, if we keep going down, we have the Destiny 2 original soundtrack, which is very, very interesting. I very much suggest that. If we keep going down. We can see that Luke Smith has a couple of tweets. Let's read them. Shaders are earned through gameplay, leveling chests, engrams, vendors, and we expect you'll be flush with shaders as you continue to play. When you reach level 20, shaders will drop more often. Vendor rewards, destinations, play, and end game activities. Shaders are now an ongoing reward for players for playing. Customization will inspire gameplay. Each planet has unique armor and shader rewards. And with Destiny 2, we want statements like, I want, to, I want to run the raid, trials, or go back to time to get more of its shaders to be possible. Now, I'm assuming he came up with these tweets because I have heard that people are not happy with the, the shader system in Destiny 2. I mean, I haven't really gotten to level 20 yet, or I'm not really high up there, so I can't really have a, a say. So please let me know what your thoughts on the whole new shader system is. Thank you, assalamu alaikum, and have a wonderful night or day, depending on where you are.